Hi there, welcome back to my channel. And if this is your first time here, my name is Eve Mopanda. I am a mindset and life coach for women. If you'd like to find out more about me, head over to the description. And if you're coming back, thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Thank you for the feedback. Please remember to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Thank you, ladies. Well, uh, before I carry on, this has been, I think, believe the most difficult video that I've had to record <laughs> to date apart from the time that I was ill um just been feeling been feeling quite heavy lately and I don't know why um I have spoken very openly about being depressed and I do get those moments where I do feel down uh <laughs> And this video, I wasn't going to record it, actually. I was just going to say, you know, I'm just going to wait till the next week and then release it. But I have promised to be authentic, to show up as my self um, and whether, you know, through the good and the bad. It's also to show that, you know, we're all human at the end of the day. Um, I know people come on social media, they want to smile and you think that their life is perfect 24-7. Well, it isn't. <laughs> so, you know, I'm here, I'm showing up as I have promised to show up every Monday. And yes, so my energy might be a bit low, but the message is coming from the heart. <laughs> and I can only hope that you know whatever I'm going to share is going to help someone somewhere who is feeling stuck so let's get into it um so today's topic is around growing and reinventing yourself and for me that has been the biggest um impact in my life in regards to elevating my mindset um and also elevating my habits in a positive way. Uh, you know, I used to be at a point where I was always procrastinating. I was never finishing things. Life was just, my depression at that point was really bad. Um, I kept myself very isolated. And I noticed that life was just, it was going in cycles. Like I wasn't moving forward. I wasn't progressing in life um and because I was stuck in a pattern of I was either attracting um you know toxic relationships or I was attracting toxic habits as well and keeping them um and that really had an impact on my own you know emotional emo both emotional and mental and physical as well um, state so I realized at some point that life had to change I needed to change um, I had to get super clear in terms of who I wanted to be and to really elevate my life because at the end of the day we know that life is for living and there's times where you feel so low in your life that you feel like there's no way out but I'm here to share with you that there's always a way out and it's about really understanding what you need to be doing because um, everyone is different. Whatever I probably experience might be different for you. Um, so it's taking that and understanding yourself and what you need to be doing to move yourself forward from that situation. We've got, I always say, you know, I'm a mental health practitioner as well. And I always say that one thing that's important to remember is you're the expert of your own life. Working in mental health, also being a mindset and life coach, my clients will come to me with what they're coming with. But at the end of the day, it's that reminder that, you know, you are the expert of your own life you've got the answers within you to be able to move forward. So that's one of the things that I had to recognize in myself that, you know, how, however I was feeling and the, the, the way things were going for me, I played a part in it. 
and I had to understand what do I need to do to take myself up. And the th three things that were really powerful for me um, was self-awareness, first of all. And secondly, it was accountability. Being accountable for my actions and understanding, finally, understanding the habits that I had that were keeping me in that situation. So my own um, self-awareness journey was all about uncovering my beliefs and why I thought so little on myself, why I never respected myself, why I would allow people to just abuse me, whether it was physical, whether it was emotional, um, whether it was verbal, because I thought so little of myself. And the way I was thinking was reflecting outward. So it's important that you understand the way you, the way you see yourself inward is a reflection of how you are on the outside as well. It's very hard to, to, to be okay on the outside, but you're not okay on the inside. You will always struggle with that. That's why they always say you need to do the inner work first and it's always inward out. Um, so I really had to get clear on my myself and why was I struggling so much? Why were certain things happening to me? Uh, why was I so angry? Why, you know, did I never finish anything that I started? Why was I so fearful of rejection? Why was I so insecure? Um, why did I lack confidence? I really went deep and, you know, it was... It was painful, but at the same time, it was so, it was such a breakthrough for me because it helped me understand who I was and it helped me understand that I am perfect the way I am. And every experience that I have gone through, whether good or bad, plays a part in who I am today. My experience as a single teen mom is part of me. It's part of who I am today. It's part of my story. It's part of the story that is saving so many single mothers out there who send me a message and say to me that, you know, when you say that, you know, it really, you know, it, it made me come out of that place that I was in. I get messages and I'm so fulfilled. That's why I'm not even scared showing up here and talking about how I actually feel. If I'm not okay, I'm not okay. I'm not going to sit here and try and please the world. Because otherwise I would be doing you a disservice. So, you know, becoming self-aware and then finding out what I needed to work on, um, my procrastination, where it was coming from. I found out where it was coming from. I really tapped into my belief system to really, you know, pick out every little thing so that I could start working on it. And when I started working on it, I had to hold myself accountable. And I do it until today. I am still, I find out new things about myself. I am still growing. Um, like, I'll give you an example. Like in this moment, I, I'm, I'm going on a 30-day journey. I'm actually on it. Because I did my review and I was like, there's an area I'm going to share with you after. Um, but there's an area that I realized in myself that I am not giving 100%. And I say to myself, Eve, you are capable of so much more. You know you are capable of so much more. My husband can even tell you that. 
I am the type of person that if I put my mind to something, I will get it done. It's not negotiable. Ask anyone in my circle. They will all say to you the same thing. And sometimes I have to call myself out. When I'm not doing something, what is it that I am lacking? Why am I feeling the way I'm feeling? Why is it? And I think once you start to understand different habits, um, especially if you've got um, habits that have really kept you stagnated, you start to understand where those habits are coming from and you start to work on them. If you're always procrastinating, it's looking at building your your habits in a in a positive way because procrastination is not a bad thing and i've spoken about this it's understanding why are you procrastinating sometimes we procrastinate to, to think um there's positive procrastination where sometimes you procrastinate to give yourself that time to understand something and for me it's it's when it comes to a point when procrastination is having a negative impact in my life, I then have to question why. And once I sat there and I evaluated and I reviewed, there's, a, there's an area in my life right now, I am really, if I break through that, you know, I would have gone on to the next level. It's, so I am not, I am not, like this overnight i didn't gain confidence overnight i didn't learn how to speak overnight i didn't learn how to be comfortable with myself overnight but what i am doing is i am taking the steps to to grow myself to to really empower myself to to build those positive habits positive habits of always showing up for myself making that commitment to myself and actually following through. I am here because I made a commitment to show up. I'm showing up for my health. I don't like working out, but I have to wake up at, you know, in the morning to, to, to work up. Sometimes I can even do it twice a day because I am committed to my health. So those three things, self-awareness, building positive habits and accountability are very important if you want to elevate in your life, elevate your mindset, elevate your habits. If you feel like this is something that's really um, challenging you and it, you, it's something that you really, really want to work on, then be sure to send me a message. You can get my details down below. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. But yes, ladies, I hope this video has been very helpful to you. Um, I share with you things that I've gone through. I share with you things that I'm going through. I will let you know what it is that I am actually working on myself at, at the end of the 30 days. Um, I like to keep, you know, when I'm going through a journey, I want to keep it personal for me first um, because I'll be trying to uncover and unpack some things about me and some things can be very uncomfortable. Um, so, and it's all part of the process. Don't be afraid to look inside yourself because there is beauty in that. There is beauty in your struggles. There is beauty in, you know, your thinking there's beauty in everything that you have been through good bad whatever it is and there's beauty in the person that you are the uniqueness of you oh anyway <laughs> sorry ladies something just popped up on screen Oh, this video today. Uh, but anyway, we got the message done. Thank you so much again for watching. Don't forget to share this video. Do not forget to subscribe. And again, I will see you next Monday. Take care. Bye.